Hello, my name is Yonis Dizzle, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a data flow diagram. A data flow diagram is a representation of basically the blueprint of your software application. So for this example, I'm going to generate a data flow diagram for uh, a software application I created uh, before uh, by using VB. So this is my video tutorial here. So if I go further back, so basically once you double click on the executable file, the login page is asking for the uh, password. Once the password is correct, if the password is incorrect, the user will receive a message box that says your password is correct. And if they actually put the correct password, they will be able to actually see room one, room two. And if you have more rooms, you have to actually put this there. Also, there is a button that says uh, log out and there is a button that says change the password. So to create the data flow diagram, I'm going to use the app.diagrams.net or if you actually type draw.io, it will navigate you here. Then I'm just going to, oops, back here. I'm just going to select, uh, create a new diagram by using OneDrive. And I'm going to select the blank diagram. Oh, let's select create and I'm just going to call this diagram uh, up for uh, hotel and click save. Now this file is saved into my OneDrive. So the first thing I need to do is basically put a rectangle here and I'm just going to call this my app. So I'm just going to say VB up it's going to put four a hotel all right so once the app starts I'm just going to put here round the rectangle open application once the application opens, I want to put here a decision maker. So I'm just going to click here on the blue icon. So I'm just going to increase the size here. I'm just going to type here, check the password. Okay, check the password. Now, if the password is correct. Let's move this a bit closer. If the password is correct, I want something to happen. What I want to happen, I'm just going to put here uh, main booking page. Okay, it's going to take me to the booking page. Okay. If, however, the password is incorrect, incorrect password, then I want to basically go here, back into the application which then is going to ask, ask me again for the password. In fact, the way it works, I'm displaying a message here first. So let's put a card there. The password is incorrect. Please try again. message message box okay so we'll go there and then from here we we'll then go there that's better okay so the application opens 
decision making here. Check the password. If the password is correct, the booking page opens. However, if the password is incorrect, uh, the password is correct. Please try again message box and then text the user back into the open the application. Now, once we're on the booking, we can actually put some options here. So we have here logout. Let's push this further up. Also, we have change password. And also we have bookings, room booking. Now, on the room bookings, I'm just going to put the room bookings on this side. Let's maximize this. Let's put this there. Now, if the password is, uh, is select, if the user selects the change the password, I'm just going to put here change the password for. Okay. Change the password form, it's going to be visible. Okay. The user need to add a new password and select submit. The submit button. Now, here we have we need to put another decision maker in here. So I'm just going to put here that decision maker. New password is added. Now, if a new password is added, Control Z to undo. True. And then we're going to put here false. If the new password is added, then we're going to apply card here. Your new your password is has changed successfully. If it's false, I'm gonna hold the control key down and click and drag to replicate this card. Your password didn't change. And then we can actually go back to change the password. If I could go back here. And again, there. Okay. So if it changed successfully, we should display this message. If it did not change, then we display this message. Okay. So now we'll go to uh, log out. Here we have to put a decision maker again. Here we're going to say true. If it's true, then we'll go back to 
In fact, if it's true, let's control that don't do. Close the application. If it's true, we're closing the application. If it's false, go back to the booking page. And we'll say close the application. You can always move the arrows exactly where you want them. So here we have the rooms. In the example I showed you before, we have two rooms here. So let's put this here. So room booking. So I'm going to put here my first room, which is room one. And then I can put here room two. I'm not going to do this now. I'm just going to go straight on the room one to make sure that the room one is put on. Then I can actually show you how easily and quickly to, to replicate uh, the room one. So we're going to apply decision making here. It's booked. So here we have true or false decision making. Say true. Bring it closer, false. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if it's true, if it's booked, if it's true, then we can put a card here. Change the color to red. Message box show the room one is booked. Make this a bit smaller. Okay. So that's if it's true. I'm going to click here and hold the control key down and click and drag. If it's false, change the color to green. Message show the room one is available. So we change the color here to green or red based off if the value is true or false. So now we have the room one selected, uh, created. So I'm going to click and drag. If you notice that close the application is not fully selected, everything else here is fully selected, which means that the closed application is not selected here. In order to select this as well, if I click and drag and fully select this, then this part will be selected, which I don't want. So I just want to select only the room one. And what I'm going to do now, by holding the control key down and clicking and dragging, and if I hold the shift key down, if, if you notice, if I move the mouse cursor up and down, it's not going anywhere. But if I release the shift key, it's, it's go every, goes everywhere. So I want to basically copy this, clone this, and basically paste it right to the side. And the only thing I need to change now here is the room one to room two. And now I'm just going to click and drag here to go to room two. 
Now, if you have more rooms, you could actually follow the same process, okay, to uh, expand to more rooms. What you could do, you could actually put this on the side, and then you can actually put, let's highlight this. You have multiple rooms. You can put them one next to each other, like that. Uh, let's delete that one. So you select and press the delete key. Then you apply another one here on the side. So then if you have multiple rooms, you could actually do that. So you can actually include the rooms here. Okay, so this is how we create a data flow diagram. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to customize your data flow diagram. So make it a bit more pretty. So if you select any of the uh, shapes here, you will be able to see uh, exactly what I see here. So I'm just gonna select this option here. So you could actually apply the same color for all the decision making. So it's up to you which colors you are going to use, or which color palette you are going to use. So for the true statements, I'm gonna to stick to green. For the false statements, I'm gonna to stick to red. But again, it's up to you. It's your data flow diagram. It's no right or wrong here. Just different. So this is because correct password, I'll make it green. As you can see here, I put true and false here. You can actually easily, very easily, quickly put the actual text, like in this case, correct, incorrect, true, false, up, down. It's up to you what you are actually going to put. Uh, so for the buttons, I'm gonna put, make the buttons this color. For pages, going to convert the paint to this color. Now, if you want to change the color to something else, so if you actually go to the fill, you could actually select a different color of your choice. Select apply. Uh, you can use different color here. Select apply. Okay, so for the pages, I'm using this color here. For Okay, open the application. Let's make it purple. For the messages, I'll make the messages great. And also the start and close the application great. Close the application, you can change the color to a bit darker. And that's, let's make it a bit darker as well. You can change the phone color as well. So these are the messages. So for the rooms, just gonna change the color to solid green. Room bookings, gonna make it this color. It's up to you if you want to mix and match the color palettes or stick to one color pal palette and basically use the uh, different colors here to expand so you have more options on colors. Okay, and this is basically my data flow diagram for the VB application. I've created on the previous video tutorial. Uh, just one more thing that I'm just going to show you. If I click on the space bar, you can actually move, click and drag to move the, around your uh, stage. And if I hold the control key down and use the wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in and zoom out. I use the space bar, click and drag. Okay, so I hope you learned something new today. I hope you will use these new skills to create great data flow diagrams. Bye for now.